Professor Rogoff, you've been awarded the prize of CES Distinguished Fellow this year. You're one of the leading economists in the world. Now you come up with the crazy idea of abolishing paper money. Why? Well, my proposal is to phase out large denomination bills and then over a much longer period, uh, small denominations while introducing uh, universal debit cards at the central bank. There are many aspects to it. But I'd, I'd say there are two problems we face as a society in advanced economies. One problem is that with very low inflation, sometimes the central bank reaches zero interest rate and it can't do anything. And that's been a big problem. It was a problem in 2001 even. It's been a bigger problem now. And I think it could be a problem again in the future. And if you had electronic currency instead of paper currency, you can pay a positive interest rate, you can pay a negative interest rate, and you just don't run into this problem. It's a very elegant solution. But negative interest rate, that means you want to cut off electronic money from people depositing into the banks? Well, it's already the case that when you get a zero interest rate on your money, which you do, and they have high inflation, it's the same thing. Your money is becoming worth less. But it feels different. Yes, but it's the same thing. We do it to banks a little bit already. And you have to remember that presumably most of the time people would now get positive interest rate on their money. So they'd get used to that and it would vary like with other things. I think it's something that you know we could certainly become accustomed to. The reward, we would have low and stable inflation, which is much harder to do because of paper money. Now, if paper money is abolished um, over time, then how is that process going to take place? I don't have a short answer to this, but it starts with, we've, we've had currency reforms in many countries over the years. In Europe, you had the national currencies and you called them in and replaced them with uh, uh, euro. So what you could do here is say initially when you're getting rid of large notes, people bring them in and they can either have small notes or they can have an electronic deposit, either, e either one. This is sort of the same process. It's not complicated. There have been currency reforms, you know, Know, since the beginning of time. It, it's technically not complicated at all to do. The issues more have to do with how do you protect low-income people who don't have access to debit cards. Now they need to be provided universal debit cards. How do you allow some anonymous transactions to take place without al allowing large-scale anonymous transactions? And my proposal deals with these issues. Now, if you think about it, it's already happening. The most of the biggest transactions are already electronically. Why would you even go so far as to abolish the paper money? Well, the problem is, is that although in the legal economy most transactions take place electronically, that's not true in the underground economy. That's not true with legal activity where paper currency is much more widely used. In fact, the underground economy uh, clearly accounts for well over half, maybe much more than half, of all use of paper currency, especially the large denomination notes, which dominate the landscape for most countries. Thank you very much. Thank you.